Hello, welcome back. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to work with team and layout section in Looker Studio. So why is that so useful for us? Now let's see. If I go to team and layout, if I click on that, I will be able to choose different teams for my dashboard layout. So let's find some interesting. For example, let's use this team and basically you will be able to see that now everything is changed on this dashboard. Basically we have completely different colors. If I click on this, it will be the same. We will be using these team colors, except those charts that we previously created. If I scroll down, I will be able to see a lot of different teams. Now, what I can do? I will remove all the charts that I previously created. And now I'm gonna create a new chart, for example. So let's click on bar chart and let's see what we will get here. I will be able to see bar chart, but if I go to team and layout, if I choose some different style, I will be able to see that also this chart is changed. If I click on this one, I will be able to see different colors. Again for this one, if I pick that one, we will have different colors. So let's find something interesting, also that one and this. Great, now let's add one more chart. In this case I will be using pie chart for example. and I will be able to see all default colors for that team. Now, if we want to change something, we can customize each specific team. So, if I choose team, then I can customize. Primary color, we can change it to be something like this, for example. Of course, we will not do that, but that's one of the options. We can change this series order, also change each specific color. Font, also component background and border. Let's make it orange, for example. Then for all charts, background will be that color. I'm gonna leave it black, for example. Let's change also this accent styles. Let's make it yellow. We don't have any text here, so we cannot see that at the moment. But for you, it's important to know that you also have that option as well. Also text box styles. Later, I will show you how to insert text box and how to modify it and also data styles. So instead of blue, primary color could be, for example, yellow and you will be able to see yellow. Instead of this green, for example, let's use red. And this one could be, for example, this color. Okay, with this, I'm gonna conclude this video. In the next one, we will continue working with dashboards.